Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a real life infinite staircase called an Asherian staircase. So this is a real life staircase that always goes up or down depending on what direction you're going. Okay, grab our Lego guy. Here we go. Climbing up and up again. Oh, down the stairs. So you can see that somehow I'm continually climbing up these stairs, but I end up right where I started from. An infinite loop. And up again. What's cool is I can even push him down the stairs and he slides down the stairs both ways. So the staircase is continuous. Let's start with a piece of string just lay it out as we go up the stairs. Okay, so how does this infinite staircase work? How is it always going up like this? Well, the trick is, notice that I'm always keeping it at this fixed angle here. If I change angles, you'll notice something weird about this infinite staircase. It's not quite the shape you'd expect. <laughs> so what's actually happening here is this is actually a steep drop off. It's just really hard to see. Let me illuminate it a lot more. And you can see that there's this drop off here that's actually quite steep. And all of these angles aren't exactly right angles, but if you hold it at just the right direction, it makes it seem like it. This is actually a 3D printed model from a YouTube creator named Jabril. So go check out his channel, it's really good. So it turns out because we live in flat space, also called Euclidean space, that it's impossible to have an Asherian staircase like this, where you always travel upward but end up at the same spot. But it turns out there's more than one type of geometry. For example, you may have heard of spherical geometry and hyperbolic geometry. In spherical geometry, for example, three right angles can actually make a triangle and not a square, as shown here. So she goes and she draws one right angle right here, and then she shimmies down her two-dimensional plane here, and she draws another right angle. And then she moves over here and draws another right angle. So she's now drawn three right angles. She expects that she's gonna end up with this open box again. So then she goes to connect her right angles with straight lines. So here's one straight line. Here's two straight lines. And then here's three straight lines. And then she just realizes that she just connected three straight lines together with three 90 degree angles. So she just made a triangle with three 90 degree angles. And three 90 degree angles added up equals 270 degrees, not 180 degrees. So with this discovery, she realizes that actually she's not living in a two dimensional flat space at all, but she's living in a two dimensional spherical space. So in two dimensions, there's only three different types of geometries possible. Euclidean, which means flat, spherical, which is curved like this, and hyperbolic, which is curved like this. But in three-dimensional space, there's actually eight different geometries. And one of those geometries is called nil geometry. And in nil geometry, an Asherian staircase is actually possible. So for example, let's say you wanted to make a Penrose triangle in Euclidean space that we live in you wouldn't be able to do it. You're always gonna end up above where you started from. So in nil space, as you walk around in a circle, you're actually above where you started from. Now there's a really cool video showing what it would look like climbing up a staircase in nil space. So there's an Asherian staircase in nil geometry that shows how it's actually possible to continually climb upward in a circle. 
and you'll notice that in nail space or nail geometry, even though globally it's a different type of geometry, locally it still looks Euclidean. So things still look normal close up, but as you look further away, they don't quite match up. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes. And you can check out my book on Amazon that has experiments that you can do at home as well. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.